All right, testing, testing. Oh, I clicked on something. Give me one minute while I open up the live chat on the phone, as always. I do not have a second monitor to display chat. <laughs> that would be really cool, though. I wouldn't have to go through this process of setting up the chat on the phone. Oh, that's... I'm getting better at this. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's that yammy guy. Let's see where we left off last time. Try to. Oh my god! I swore that my neighbor was done with their lawn. <laughs> I am so sorry if you can hear the leaf blower. They're almost done. Here he comes. Watch, watch. It's like he was waiting for me to start the stream. There was absolute silence for over half an hour. <laughs> oh no. Let's give it a minute. I'm gonna walk around while he's done blowing his lawn. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, I left the beacon over there because that's where we're headed next. Hold up, I forgot to alert through the Discord. This is a new thing for me. <laughs> having a discord server All right, here we go. I think he's finally done with his lawn. <laughs> uh, so where were we? All right, here we go. That's the progress we left off with. And I got a little surprise for you guys. Uh, thanks to Motor Gong, I tinkered a little more with these display cases made out of the large active storage. And I got the system to work. With the push of a button, I can make the the display cases go down or up. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Uh, I can show you how I did it. I'll do that later. And it, but just in a nutshell, it involves this button repeater, a bunch of segments, and a little extra touch that I added, which is with a delay repeater. So the lights turn on before the display cases lift up. So with that said, I am very short on fuel right now. I have this one hydrazine on my backpack and this extra hydrazine on my train, and that's not going to be enough for this run. So. Uh, I thought I'd, I would take you guys on a little supply run while we're here. I'm going to show you how I do it. And there's three ways to do it that I know of, you know. One is 
the, the one that I use the most because this is where I'm it's what's working for me now that makes the workflow a little more streamlined and it's to take these caps that I collect from the floor whenever I open those research aids just a ton of these caps and I put them on the shredder produces these little nuggets fills up the, the canisters and then I take the full canister load it up on the train like so I might actually I'm gonna bring this one this is supposed to be the cargo train I'm gonna bring that one I load it up on the train and I head off into the surface I'm gonna go ahead and do a little loop-de-loop right here and we're going up so yeah we take those uh, full scrap canisters place them in the trade platform and exchange them for ammonium and with that ammonium you have to combine two of them with one hydrogen on the chemistry lab to make one hydrazine canister oh shoot I don't have a packager for this one why is it down here it's a uh, freaking lives coming out of everywhere <laughs> it's like every time I come back up I find one that I somehow misplaced let's leave it right here all right so you can do that with a trade platform to get ammonium the second way is with soil canisters if you're doing a lot of digging you fill up soil canisters and not the small ones the big ones the medium soil canisters fill those up with dirt place them on the platform that has a soil centrifuge and also make sure to add a small canister for the soil so that it's able to transfer from the medium canister to the soil centrifuge and you put the soil centrifuge to give you ammonium but that's probably the the um, the method with the least amount of yield for ammonium and i suppose the one with the highest yield of ammonium is an auto extractor but i haven't gotten around to that so if you see me pick up resin from an auto extraction site that's pretty much what it is you just place an auto extractor on the ammonium deposit wherever you may find it they're not that easy to find uh mark it down with a beacon and pick it up with either a train or a rover to make it extra fast all right here we go so let's grab let's grab the scrap matter of fact that's not what i wanted let's bring the train around the trade platform is closer down this way. I don't have to carry a bunch of stuff. There you go. So. We pick this up. And we lay it. You see, this is why I use so much fuel. <laughs> and we seem to have plenty left over right here let's use that right now now this is i'm gonna leave this medium storage here because this is what picks up the ammonium when this rocket comes back with the ammonium so it's already full i'm gonna make sure to see where is ammonium okay here we go so you get one scrap per ammonium one ammonium per scrap. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said it the other way around. Okay, that's good. We can pick it that back up. And we're going to send the rocket off into space to give them scrap in exchange for ammonium, whoever they may be. And we just wait a little bit. When, when the rocket lands, make sure that there's space right here on this medium storage. So that the ammonium gets transferred into it 
You can do that. Or you can put a medium canister there. Let's say this one. Might be a little slower, but it's gonna work. There you go. And now this one's gonna pick it up. And while that's picking up, you can get the scrap to load back into the rocket. That probably works a lot better than the medium storage. So if you got a lot of canisters to work with, this is a really good way to collect the ammonium. Let's send off, send off the second one. This one's empty, so let's put it right there. And place it back on the train, because this is going to go... Uh, back on the other shredder platform under the ground So you can do that until this fills up or You use the soil centrifuge method, which is very time-consuming you literally get Let's see With this filled up you get 24 canisters of these filled up these fill up 24 times and it takes two of these filled up to make one ammonium nugget so this gives you eight ammonium nuggets this one canister that's very very tiny amount of ammonium for the amount of work you might go through to collect some dirt that's why I, I stopped using it if I do use this soul centrifuge it's gonna be for graphite I use a lot of packagers to collect the scrap to make uh to collect a lot of debris to make this scrap makes a lot more sense to do that all right so the rocket's back let's fill it up we're gonna fill this up with ammonium and start making some hydrazine speaking of which let's go over here we can prep this hold up we can prep this to receive the ammonium canister. Let's put the hydrogen up there. One second. Hydrazine, there you are. All right. And we're going to go ahead and grab some hydrogen off of this canister. We're going to make a lot of fuel this time. So let's grab a couple of these right there. I'm gonna leave this right next to the chemistry lab. You'll see why in a minute. There you go. This is almost filled up. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and send this off. And uh, start making some fuel. Put this over here really quickly along with this canister I'll use this as a temporary loading platform right there I'm gonna start producing Ammonium. I forgot to put this on auto. There you go. So yeah, I'm just taking you through my fuel production process. Let's get another one of these filled up. I'm thinking I might add an extra canister right here. That's probably a good idea. 
me see there should be some canisters right here on the train let's grab one all right so in theory i can just do this send a rocket and when it comes back this is going to start filling up filling up with more ammonium This can hold 24 canisters of hydrazine. We're gonna have so much. Rocket's probably coming back in a bit. It'd be cool if I could automate this one too. It doesn't have a repeat button right here. do we have 10 all right we're gonna need another hydrogen pack right there i think there was a purpose for the auto arms last time i'm gonna bring one on board in the train bring a couple maybe yeah let's bring a couple of them it was there was a purpose for the auto arms but i guess i'll remember when i'm back down in the cave That's all the scrap we have. I can I can send this off, I think. No, no. Let's keep this one right there. It's not one ammonium's not going to make a difference. All right. This one's empty too. Lazy boy, what's up, dude? Welcome back. Just uh, showing you guys how I do my refuel. My refueling runs. I usually do this off the screen, but... I thought maybe uh, you guys would learn something if you didn't know how to make a lot of hydrazine at once. So every single hydrogen is going to account for one one hydrazine canister. And you see this has five segments right here in this uh, hydrogen canister. That means you'll get five hydrazines out of it. Why is... Lazy Boy says, why is there a sky? Isn't there no sky? I'm not sure I understand the question. Well, we're above the ground right now, and we're used to working underground. I, I think maybe that's why you're confused. This is my regular base above the ground. So let's put this here. Oh, shoot. Come back. Get in there. Yeah, I read your comment the other day. I don't know how Astroneer works in Nintendo, but I'm sure you're, you're still gonna get addicted to it. It's a lot funner with friends. As you can see, it takes a long time for me to do uh, a couple of things by myself, but I can still get them done by myself. It's still fun. We're almost done here. Got 24 hydrazine. All right. 
Well, let's put this uh, ammonium back in this place. That's all the hydrazine we're gonna have for the day. So, about five times more than we need. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna go ahead and load that into the train. Let's grab this empty storage right there. There you go. I know for a fact in console, it might take a little longer uh, to work with with uh, with everything because the thumbstick makes this have like a, a one speed, right? It, it's a little slower. I think I used to. I think I played it once on Xbox or something like that. I have a toy bank and have 1,170 Durhams. No silent letters and I live somewhere else. I'm not sure what Durhams are. And what are Durhams? So I'm pretty sure this canister goes over here. I took it away from one of these storages. This one's for the ammonium. Maybe it's, maybe it just goes back on the train. Let's see. Right there. Let's put it there for now. It's money in United Arab Emirates. Oh. Oh, okay. Do you know how much that is in US dollars? Durhams, they learn something new every day, huh? <laughs> Here, I'll check. Durhams to US dollars. One Emirati Durham is equal to 27 cents. Is it? Did I get it right? Or 32? What? I am very confused with how Google's representing this. <laughs> Well, at least I know what Durhams are now. It's currency. It's, it's uh, nice to know. Arab currency. That's, that's really cool, dude. I'm gonna put this ammonium back where it goes. And I think we're ready to go back down. I think I was missing some compounds, so I'm going to take a little batch of this. Right? Because I don't have any. Let me check my storage. And nope. Alright, let's grab some compound and take it down there, because I'm pretty sure I use it a lot down there. Take some of that. And where... Where did I put the hydrazine? I think I left it somewhere on the floor. Oh my god, guys. I forgot where... I, oh, it's right here. Why did I put it there? It goes on the train. Let's put that there. I'm gonna put this back over here. So I stay organized. That's how I like to organize.
Because I asked Google, is Google accurate? And it said it's not. Like, even Google knows it's not accurate. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured it out right away. I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So, uh, let's just stick with Durham's our currency. <laughs> hey, what's up, VHS? We live streaming. We're doing it uh, almost every day, I guess. Still getting the hang of it, but it's working. It's working. I think I might want to bring some aluminum down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, where's the aluminum? It's on the other side. Let's go this way. We'll pick it up on the way, on the way back down to the cave. All right. I'm gonna pick up one singular batch of aluminum. Here it is. We're gonna have to replace that medium storage soon. I'll just use the. Uh... Oh, look, here, this one's empty. Let's take it. And we're just gonna take this one. Oops, not that. There we go. I am on Discord. <laughs> we gotta do a dual stream someday. My new PC kind of fire. I saw it. It looks dope. Dope as hell, dude. You gotta tell me what games you got. Most of my games are like this. They're uh, adventure games. And uh, sandboxes. I don't do a lot of PvP games anymore. Unless I'm playing with my friends, of course. I've been getting invited to Fortnite by my co-workers a lot. And I'm like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> I don't really feel like it. Though I'm pretty sure if I was still in high school, I would probably get addicted to Fortnite. It is. It's very cool. You get to build a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah like all of this you see these tunnels you see how uh i there's like this cave right there i made that i tunneled through into the earth uh with a rover because we're, we're like astronauts basically so you start from scratch you build the rovers you build uh Machines and buildings, small little buildings. You can't actually go inside. They're more like platforms that you work with. And yeah, you explore. The game gives you missions to complete through a, a little computer, and you just get creative with how you accomplish them. That's really all that the game entails. It's a, an adventure game. Sandboxy adventure game. This one's called Astroneer, if you haven't heard of it. Oh, this way. I'm gonna turn this train like this. There you go. Just a little more. All right, we're back. Back in action. Does this look, does this look familiar now, lazy boy? <laughs> now there is no sky. Uh, see, it times Steam. You can get it on Steam and console, like our friend here, who who's gonna get it on Switch. 
I recommend it on PC, obviously, because it's so much easier to play with. It's just play this specific game with keyboard and mouse. Alright, so we're refueled. The train rails are so trippy. I know, I made them like that. <laughs> Instead of going down in a straight line, I made it look like a roller coaster. Alright, so... Alright, so I showed you how I did my refueling runs. Now it's time. Now we got... Oh, I gotta show you the, the display case. This was a... Little something I wanted to do to show the progress of this breakdown event. It was, I th thought it was gonna be boring to just put them inside canisters the whole time. So I'd rather display them so that I can have a visual representation of how this event's going for me. I mentioned I was going to try to make this automated that at the push of a button, the display cases would lift up with the lights turning on and everything. And I got it to work with a little tip I got from Motorgong. I started tinkering. And now I can put them away and show them back up like that. Currently we're at one, two, three, four, five. We've got five display kisses. One of them is almost filled up. Each one holds 15 burritos. So... We're at 63 burritos right now. We need to reach 100 or fill all of these up. And the max number of burritos here is going to be 105. But we only need 100. So let's say we're going to fill them all up. We got 15, 30, 32 more burritos. Oh my god, we're so close. 32? Maybe I didn't count this right. Give me one second. 32. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one's 15. 30. I hate that the camera keeps doing that. 15, 30, 45, 60. Oh yeah, I did miscount. We're at 73 burritos. 73. I don't trust my math now. <laughs> oh shit, son! Yo, Juana también le encanta. You're gonna love this game. If you love tinkering with machines and, and stuff, you're gonna love it. No sé si ha escuchado de Lethal Company. Thirty-two, yeah, thirty-two burritos. Something's not right. What am I doing? Excuse me while my brain finishes its brain fart. We got one, two, three, four, four display cases, four times fifteen slots. Two, three, four, five, three. Yeah, fifteen slots. Fifteen times four is sixty. 15 slots minus 2 is 13, right? Seventy-three. Yeah, yeah, so th this one filled up would be 75, so it's good. This would be 90 filled up. And 105. Okay, okay. All right, <laughs> God, I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're at 73 burritos. We have 27 burritos to go. 
to fill to almost fill everything up we're gonna get a hundred burritos and five to spare Let me check that the train is ready to go. I think we're missing one canister. One gas canister. Let's uh, take one from the kitchen here. Just death. Okay. Discord. All right. Give me one second. Yeah, we're uh we're looking for our friend here. It's a friend I know personally in real life, so that's why I'm adding him. Give me a second. Please click on uh, Oh god, I got to verify that I'm human here. Oh yes. That one. Okay, I think I added you. I'm not sure how Discord works. I'm new, kind of new to it. But uh, I think our train's ready. We should start collecting burritos. And we're going to take the alternate route this time. So we're going to go this way. So we turn the train around. Last time we went right, so we're going left. this way and we got to extend the tracks this is why we, we brought aluminum down here we need more tracks I'll be right back let me let me go get some uh, extra tracks we got three left on board but we're gonna need way more than that I also forgot the hydrazine let me take some of that Aluminum and resin will make one track. Let's take one aluminum. One resin. Let's grab it from here. And let's go to the small printer and get some tracks. Where, do, where are the tracks? Oh, right here. Rail post bundle. I want the tall ones. Here we go. So we need 27 burritos. We're so close, guys. Matter of fact, I can get some materials right here. Let me put some of this stuff on board. Get this laterite, put the fuel on there. Fuel goes over here actually. Put one, two, three. And let's get some extension cores to open our first pot of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and use these to replace the extension cords. Might need a couple of them too. And 
Let's not forget to stand on the lid so it doesn't fly up in this low gravity environment. <laughs> Put that there. We'll pick it up some other time. Now we put these. Let the canisters pick them up. Oh, there's another one right here. Let me get that. Yeah, let's uh, do these before we keep exploring. There are so many research aids where we're going, guys. Like, it's not even funny. I did a little exploring before I started this stream. And uh, I promise there should be at least 20 EXO research aids. Oh, where did, where did the lid go? I forgot to pick it up. I don't want it to despawn. Put it right there. Alright, let's keep extending this rail. There's another bundle here that I need to empty out. Let's grab it. Tall rail post bundle. Right there. Now I can pick up this beacon. Pretty sure it's this way. This is too far? Yeah, it is. I think I might want to flatten this out. Ah, it's fine. It's gonna be fine like that. Oh my god, look at all- even a, a lot of snowmen. We're gonna get so many materials here. This is it's gonna be the game ender right here. Wow. Oh, there's one of those gold snowmen too. I still don't know why I need winches to come out of this. Wow, dude. All right, let's grab a silo. And start opening up some some research aids. I might want to start with a snowman. There we go. Oh yeah, let's start with a snowman. There's so many of them. Fill up that silo and uh, start using those same materials to open up the research aids. Oh, now I'm getting a lot of leaks. Dude, last time I was struggling to get leaks when I needed them. Now this is just like leaks galore. Look at that. That's fine, though. We do have a lot of Reza Pound back home. Give me that. Come back. Okay. Yeah, one Reza Pound. 
I remember how at the start of this event I was so confused with how everything worked. It took me a while to figure it out. Alright, where else do we have snowmen? I love the reverb of caves. Reminds me of when I went caving a couple weeks ago. Sounds just like this. It's really cool. The echoes just don't stop. Uh, which way is the train? God, I lose my sense of direction so quick. It's right behind me. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm out of fuel. Let me get a get a new hydrazine pack. All right, nice. I think we can start opening pods now. What the? Cosmic Squash? Hold on a second. That's not supposed to pick up Cosmic Squash. Well, I guess it does now. Have right, we got the Exo? Dude, PC is so much better than consoles. I... I agree. <laughs> Honestly, I agree. I, and I've been a console player my whole life. Everything is just a lot easier on PC. And you get to do modding. What is this? Oh, that's a normal research aid. You're going to start filling up your Steam library little by little. Then you're going to download Lethal and, and all that. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Dude, Lethal is so freaking funny. I, you must have seen clips by now of crazy stuff happening to people. But yeah, they call this the PC Master Race for a reason. Nice, nice. There we go. Yeah, let's make sure that we conserve all those leaks and resi pounds. There you go. We've got a couple of leaks. Let's start. Uh, let's start close to the track so I don't lose track. Get it? <laughs> uh, yeah, you can leave the stream now. Start with this one. Shoot. Need one of these to extend the cord. And we got our first cap. Any of these powered? Yeah, just one, two. We've got two powered capsules here. All right, so I can put this away for now. Let's focus on the resource research. Ah, resource pods. <laughs> uh, we got three leaks. Let's start with that. Put these over here on the train. Only one of these opens with leaks. Every. Ah, oh, crap. That sucks. I have a lot of leaks, and these all open with Resident Pound. It's like this game's working against you. <laughs> Should probably bring the... the silo down from the train. Let's put that there. Got one Cosmic Bobble. Robot and... Noxothane. Ah, 
Oh, great. Let's go search for more resin pounds. Oh, that's one. Nice. Two. Nice, nice. Maybe there's more resin pound this way. Leak. Reza pound. Leak. I'm almost out of oxygen. Here, let me get some tethers. Get some tethers going. Okay, I might want to empty out my backpack a little bit. Let's put that there. Bring the tethers along. Make sure our oxygen supply is uh, working close to us. Okay, that's all the tethers I have for now. Start opening up these resin pound research aids. Got one. Let's put these on the silo so they don't get lost. Go to the next one. Yeah, this uh, this breakdown event is pretty much a rinse and repeat process. It's a lot funner uh, when you got people working with you. But you know, you make your own fun. That's why I made all those machines. That's what this game is all about. Lately, I've been playing a lot of uh, Space Engineers, too. It's a game I bought last year with my friends. And uh, we got tired of it, but... It's one of those games that you start getting, like, uh... You got start getting nostalgic about it because of how much time you spent on it. And all the progress you make and stuff. It's kind of like, uh, When you feel nostalgic about Minecraft. And then once in a blue moon, you start craving that game. So me and my friends are back on it now. We started last week. Restarted last week. Where? Yeah, I'm out of Reza Pound. Let me get some more. So yeah, I might do a little Space Engineers streaming later on. When I'm done with, with uh, Astro Near. And I'm thinking if I ever have like the the time to line up my schedule, I can finish Astroneer and stream Lethal Company with my friends if they're available. Last time that was so fun. We laughed so much. You can find that video on my channel if you're curious. From the time we streamed Lethal Company. Alright, no more as a pound on this. Let's go find some more. Oh, why do they gotta be so high up? Oh, here's one. Res a pound. Leak. What the hell? That was interesting. I almost flew up with that thing floating in the air. Oh, those are too high up. Alright, let's open up another uh, Reza Pound research aid. Put that there. Store these. I don't need leaks right now, so let me put them on the silo. Let's try to find some more resi pounds. Oh, missed one. Let's grab that. Oh, look, there's a lot more research aids this way. <gasps> Ooh, is that a yellow one? Okay, I'll, I'll check that out in a bit. Yeah, yellow ones can give you Om Nuggets, and that's like the rarest 
burrito ingredient. That takes a lot of effort to craft. So finding one is a lot of... It's very good. Let me get these freaking dagger roots out of the way. Massacre them. I hate them. And you too, little baby dagger root. Aquí yo no discrimino. Si eres bebé, también te voy a, a romper la madre. All right. Oh, shoot. Oxygen. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. I'm going to die. Oh, God. Oh, that was a close one. I strand stranded myself a little too much. Whew. I got my heart pumping. That would have been the third death of the, the whole stream event. First I died because of... What was it? Plants. Then I died because of plants again. And that one was going to be because of me. I was gonna suffocate myself. So, we need more resin pounds. We also found that extra research uh, area over there. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a junction for the train. Let me back this up a little bit. Let me grab the junctions. We're going to make the train go left and right, depending on uh, where I need to go. There's the junctions. Let's put this on the train as well. Get in there. So, junction. We're going to put this one away. Put that train... Take a... Uh, Tether's back for a second. And let's grab this one. The real junction bundle. Turn it around like this so that we can go either left or right. That works. All right. So we found something over here. Let's take the train this way. Oh, and if I bring it, okay, tell you, tell you what, I am going to bring the train this way, but first I'm going to use this as an extension cord <laughs> to open up these pods over here. How close can I bring it? Close enough. Now I can plug this in without much effort. go ahead and bring the train over and this one too there we go there you go so let's put this stuff back on the train. We got two baubles. That's really good. Noxothane and yeah. All right. So let's check. Now that we can check the train back, make it go this way. Get it off the track so we can pick these up. Now we're going this way. Now we won't have to worry about suffocating because we're going to have the train with us the whole time. Put that there. God, the train is so freaking useful for this game. Especially when you're down here. Let's bring it over this way. There's one. Oh no, I don't think that's the. That's not the proper research aid. 
The yellow bottoms are supposed to give you the Om Nuggets, but I think this one, because it's opening with a Reza Pound, is just gonna give you a winch. Watch. We can just not lose the lid. If anybody knows why these pods give you a winch, please let me know. I have like five or six winches now. And I'm like, what the hell do I do with this? <laughs> so we're gonna take the train this way. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, damn. Oh, we got a lot of research aids to open up. Let's get the snowmen. We need resin pounds to open them. There's one. We also need leaks, but we get a lot of leaks out of these, right? Let's fuck up the plants. this put it over here so I can reach it there's another one right there a leak I should probably call the train over now all right so this opens with resin pound this opens up with leaks let's get this one right Right there. Nice. Silo. Bring it down here. Oh, we got a lot of resin pound right now. That's really good. Let's put this close to the track so we don't lose it. We can pick it up on the uh, scrap run. Res a pound. Not bad. We got Cosmic Squash and Noxomaton. I need a leak. Give me that. Okay. All right, let's put the empty out the backpack. Except for this resin pound, I think I'm gonna need it in a bit. Snowman, let's get that. Sometimes the camera can be so funky in this game. Like you want it to point one way, but it forces you to go another. It's like, uh, it forces a perspective on you. The way you're so confused that you don't read the comments. Oh, the way you're so focused that you don't read the comments. I do read them. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, I almost died. Although I do get very focused sometimes. You're right about that. 
It's only uh, after a while I'll remember, wait a second, I'm streaming to people. <laughs> I haven't checked the comments. I'm gonna bring the silo over. Boom. Hey, why did it fly off? I was standing on it. Damn, son. What, am I invisible to you? I think I left a silo behind. There you are. Come here, you. We got ingredients to pick up. Grab it. One, two, three. Or and there, there's a, another bunch over here. One, two. We got bobbles. That's really nice. I want bobbles. Let's make automatons or whatever the hell they're called. Okay, I'm gonna need these in the backpack. Boom. Nice. Alright, let's uh, open these up as well. Oh, I got... Hold up. So, one rogue biofuel in my backpack. Get in there. Nice. And this leak. I think the only thing we need now is power for these two. I can see in the distance a couple more power pods. Uh, I knew one of them flew up into the air. Where'd it go? Huh. Well, wherever it landed, I'll stumble on it eventually. Alright, so, I think we might want another junction around here. So we can go left or right. So, let's open up the backpack, place down a junction. Whoops. Oh, that's the last one. And put this right here, where I can open up these, uh, pods. Does this cable reach? Yes, it does. Oh, God! Come back! No, I need you! Oh, my God! <laughs> Fucking launched them across the map. There's another one that landed somewhere around here. Is it this one? Probably. Okay. Let's open this up. Another one probably flew off, but oh well. <laughs> Let's go with that. Should we go this way? Let's see what's behind this wall. Yeah, I think we're going to end up going this way as well. 
Oh, oh god, I almost died to the plants. Yeah, they'll shank you if you get too close. This looks like a very... Very good potential area to explore. Grab some of these snowmen while we're here. Wow, look at these. Oh my god. That's a lot of snowmen. I'm gonna start picking up ingredients before I forget about them. Oh! It's a lot of bottles, bro. Is a robot ingredient or something literally a robot? Because that I like the sound it makes. It is! Look, I'll show you. They're stored right here in this canister. Oh, what the hell? See? <laughs> it's a little robot. Whenever you pick it up from the floor, it makes that sound. I love that sound too. I was like, oh my god, it's so cute! The first time I saw it. Alright, so we're taking this train. Let's see, should we take it this way? Yes, we should, because there's a. Uh... Let's see. We will take it that way, but not yet. Let's focus on this side that has a lot of pods close to the train. I'm gonna put one right here, just so I can use it as an extension cable. Oh, here they go again, getting launched into oblivion. Oh, that's not close enough. What about uh, this one? I need to extend this a little more. Reza pounds, nice. Gonna need those right now. Let's make sure we pick these up. Oh, there's that Om Nugget. That that one for sure is gonna give me an Om Nugget. I just need a leak. I know I have them in the canisters over here, but uh, I'm gonna need those later. So I'm not going to use them. Only going to use the ones I find. Snowman. Snowman, give me a leak. Come on. One leak. That's a resin pound. That's fine. Res pound. You see, whenever I want one thing, the game gives you the opposite. Thank you. That's alright. It's just one leak that I need right now. There we go. Classroom group chat. You in the middle of class right now? Yeah, there's the Yam Nugget. Let 
That's a fine looking arm nugget right there. Mm-hmm. All we're missing is power on this pod right here. Make sure I don't leave these behind. I'm gonna call the train back. Put it uh, over here. No? This way? If I can get it out of the way, then I can move this in, in this direction. Because I need to reach this pod with electricity. Nice. All right, let's pick the ingredients up with the silo, and I think we're done. Oh no, one more pod, and then we're done with this corner. Uh, I think it ate it. There you go. Start picking stuff up with the silo right there. Full. Load up the train. Oh, bro, I think we're even full of uh, cosmic baubles already. Definitely full of leaks. Let's uh, move these over. We're gonna need a lot of space in the silo. Let's make that. Let's uh, make sure that on nugget has a place in the canisters as well, right there. There we go. Reza Pound. Let's open this up. So when you forget you're live, then why are you talking? I'm not sure that makes sense. forward Whew, I lost for a second there okay I can take that off and this junction it's gonna take us why did I put a junction here was there something past these walls maybe it maybe I just wanted to do that collect all these pods here but I don't see oh wait a second where does this go? Give me that. I'll take that. I'm gonna need some extra power here.
All right. What do we got? We got two pods. Got a lot of snowmen. That's really good, actually. Some more pods, but that's not a lot of pods. Uh, this area has some potential. It's not the best. Oh, there's a gold snowman. It has potential. I'm going to make some tracks this way. But I'm not going to go this way. I'm going to go the opposite way. I'll come back to this later. So let's connect the junction down this road. And keep putting up some posts in this direction. There you go. All right, we're off. Let's go the other way and take these tethers. I'm going to need them. This way. open these up later let's go find a nice cluster of pods to open up oh shoot I need more rails I can't be out though I have to have more let's check our supply am I really out already oh damn son I really used all my rails Guess we're gonna have to go back for for a little bit. I can take that moment to empty out the the train a little bit. Back into base. God, I got scared. I thought I abandoned the silo somewhere. I always put it in the same spot. And if I don't see it in the same spot, I'm gonna assume I left it behind. <laughs> Alright, so let's take this back to base. We need to go get some, uh, some rail posts. Why are you talking like you live? Finally, I finished it. What? Wait, why is my past obstructed? Oh, we're... Wait, what? Hey, what's going on here? Why is the supply train on the tracks? Get out of here. Go on. Get... No, go the other way. Get <laughs> Why is the supply train here? So can I move now? Or is it glitched out? It doesn't want to move now. Ah! Oh. Hey! No! <sighs> that... That was weird. Alright, <laughs> I guess we'll do this. <laughs> Reverse direction. Okay, something happened here. It got glitched out or something. Let's make the train come this way. No, stop! Stop! What is going on here, son? Alright, let's take this to base. We'll troubleshoot it over there. <laughs> That's freaking weird. Whatever the hell just happened. Put that there. And let's make this train come this way. No! Not that way. 
Oh my god. I think this is the first time the train actually gives me problems. Can I reverse the direction of this thing? What is going on here, guys? Oh! Okay, I think I got it. Oh my god. That was so annoying. <laughs> but we fixed it. Okay, here we go. Res a pound. Leak. We're pretty full on leaks. Let's take this one. Let's replace it over here. And this one can go back here. Okay. And this goes back on the train like that. Everything else seems pretty good. So let's make the extra rail post so that we can keep going. They're supposed to be right here. Let me move this train back. Aluminum. Yeah, let's make two bundles this time. Two aluminum and two resins. Let's take two from here. What is the green thingy that stick to the wall and release spores? Or gas if spores are gas. Answer the green one, then the spores... What? Okay, so if your question is what are those green plants sticking to the walls that release spores? Like this one? That's called a hispine. His vine. And that's literally all they do. They just attack you with little spore clouds. But you can kill them like this. Take out the chain from under them. And they die. Oh shoot. I need more fuel. Man, that's a loud car. I don't know if that turn came out on the mic. Take some more of these. And we're set. That's all I need. How many burritos do you think I can make with what I have now? Okay, I think. Pretty, we're, we're good on, on this stuff, right? I think I might just need one. One pack of compound to make one pack of tethers. Because I'm pretty short on tethers now. Tethers, tethers. There they are. <laughs> Dude, those almost sounded like gunshots. But I'm pretty sure it was uh, the car's backfire. I would be surprised if it was gunshots, though. This place can get, uh... Sometimes get intense where I live. Okay, it's not this way. Hold up. I don't live in a bad hood, but... Uh... There's a bad hood nearby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't want to live in the hood. <laughs> don't worry about that. I got a friend that works in the hood. And, uh, it ain't pretty where I live. Hoods ain't no joke. 
Is it this way? Yeah, I think I've intended on going that way. Let me turn the train around. Alright, so. I'm pretty sure I put the rail post facing this way. Because there were a lot more pods on this direction. Let's put this here. Oh, we broke one by accident. Oh, you're gonna die now, son. I'm gonna massacre your family. There you go. Yeah, even the little baby planes. Get out of here. Get out of here. It's for what you did to me. Seriously, I was... I was, uh... The whole stream. I was in, like, part five, I think. No deaths. It was a zero deaths run. And then I just walk into one of these plants. And it stabs me. <laughs> it kills me. I had lowered my guard so much that I actually walked right into those plants. And then the second time that I died... Hold up, let me get some oxygen. It was because I forgot that these would explode. Look, look at the blast radius on this thing when you kill it. That can kill you. Even the small ones. But you gotta stand a, stand a couple feet away from it. Before you destroy them. Alright, let's open up our first pot of this direction. I want to call the train over. Mm hmm. Let's put it right there. Silo, 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 silo. It's tucked away behind this wall. There it is. Then we got this uh, power... Power capsule. I think I might want to put an extension cord this time. So, extension cords are on this side of the train. I can use this thing. Let's grab this. Put it right... Where's the... Oh, it's right here. Although that one's right next to the plug. I can probably reach that one. Let's open it up. Dude, weren't you just plugged in? There you go. Boom. Okay, we got... Uh, this one doesn't count. Got one power capsule, two over here. Oh, we're going this way, for sure. Look at all these pods. Oh, look, there's a... There's even a medium generator up here, and it's functional. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we're going this way. There are so many pods here. Okay, I'm gonna open up this one anyways, because I can just bring the rail to it. Power it up. See, the, the white bottoms are not part of the breakdown event. They'll just give you the regular uh, research sample. You take, it, you take this to the research... Uh, what is it called? The research chamber? 
and you'll get bites out of it. And you use those bites to get upgrades from here. You unlock new equipment from this little tablet. Currently, I have 99,404 bytes. Seems a lot like a lot to me, but I had somebody comment they had <laughs> over a million bytes already. And I was like, oh shit. That's a shit ton. Search Jose Lito Reyes. My dad is there. He's holding an ice cream salute or something. And an Arab person is near him holding the statue too. Oh, that's cool. Your dad's on TV. I put the silo. Here it is. Alright. I'm gonna keep the silo nearby the pause, but I'm not gonna use it just yet. Let's uh, focus on opening this up. All this stuff up. Which for which I need a leak and resipound. We're gonna wanna open some snowmen. Get some Reza Pound. Nice. There's so much equipment here, bro. Holy crap. All this debris. We're gonna have to come back and collect it later on. Man, I have so many leaks. I don't know if I want to want to pick these up right now. I do need them for some of the pods. I'll keep them nearby. All right, so where is the train track? Let's go this way. Wait a minute. What's going on here? I don't remember. I don't remember this track right here. Oh, did I go in the loop? Oh, I did. I'm really close to the base, I think. Cause my train's over here. Look, I went in a loop. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. All right, that's good to know. So. Uh, base is that way. <laughs> he is on TV. He also has a cookie statue with arms, legs, and a face. He gives you nightmares. <laughs> Sounds like something out of Poppy Playtime. This one right here. Miss any? Let's put this here. Put the lids in one spot so I don't mix them up. Open this one up. 
I wonder if I have enough to make all the burritos I need to finish this mission. I might want to check that. Spent a couple hours collecting stuff. Put that there. Did I play help wanted to or no? Help wanted. I think I've heard of it, but I haven't played it. I haven't seen any gameplay that I know of. Help wanted. It sounds familiar. Help wanted. Help wanted. Is that one of those indie horror games? Help wanted to oh five is it a five nights at Freddy? Help wanted to Oh yeah, yeah yeah. No, I have not played it. It is something I would be interested in playing. Not in the near future though, and there's other games I have in my mind. I want to play and stream to you guys but it's definitely on my list so uh, what about the game you have the game Make sure I don't get too far from the track. What do we got here? Got one more power research aid. I can put a little extension cord from here, I think. See if that's long enough. Come on. There you go. Oh, it's just a little bit too short. Can I pick this up? Yes, I can. Let's put this here instead. Pick that back up. You haven't played it, it's VR, and you're too poor to afford it. Well, if, if uh, you're considering getting VR in the future, whenever you have the money for it, it's, it's definitely worth it. There's a, a lot of cool games that'll immerse you. Also, you'll find out if, uh, if you can tolerate it, because not a lot of people, not everybody can tolerate VR. You can get motion sick real easy, like uh, like my gr girlfriend. So she's not that into it, unless it's like a, a still game, such as Beat Saber. Uh, she doesn't have to move around, she only has to move her arms. But VR is super fun. And horror games in VR, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's another level of uh, horror.
I have never had so many chills playing VR as when I tried out VR Lethal Company. That's the most chills I had in a video game. And it was in VR. Okay, so I'm gonna count my ingredients for a little bit. Let me see how many burritos we can make with this. We got 15 resa pounds, 21 automatons, 11 noxomatons. Uh, I don't know what goes here. What the hell? <laughs> I was floating for a second there. Did you see that? Yeah, look, it's floating. Okay, so I'm missing one ingredient. I'm not sure what it is. Cosmic. I think it's the cosmic automaton that I'm missing. So we need cosmic automatons. We have zero. It's, it's weird though. I think the paws are supposed to give me cosmic automatons. But they're not giving it. We got 23 biofuels, 11 cosmic squashes, and 24 not so things. Okay, we're gonna open up some more pods. We're not going back just yet. I might stop for a coffee break a couple of minutes, that's for sure. It's almost uh, 12 o'clock where I live. And that's my second coffee of the day. I usually never miss it. Ooh, press pound. Okay, so we need power. This one's really close to the the train tracks. Let's open this one up. Oh, also, I just remembered that's something else that I plan on streaming. It's a uh, VR games in general. I want to be able to stream them, but my PC doesn't handle them very well. So I have to do, I have to make do with standalone quest. Gotta do a, a bunch of weird things to be able to stream it, so I haven't tried it yet. But uh, among the VR games I want to stream, I have Ghosts of Tabor, which I bought and I haven't played. Because I intend to stream it. I also have Guardians Frontline, I love that game. I made a couple videos about it. Onward, Contractors. I also made a video about that one. Right, what else do I have? Put this right here. Oh, I want to buy... There's one game that... Imitates uh, earth bending. Oh, you didn't miss much. We're just opening more canisters. And I was talking about all the uh, the games that I plan on streaming in the future. Some of them are VR games. Oh shoot, that doesn't reach. Unless I put this, use it as an extension cord. There you go. Leaks. 
We're gonna have to open up some snowmen right now. Come on. I should reach. There you go. Alright, lazy boy, see ya. You way have fun with your friends now. Drinks lots of water. Breath pound. What the hell? Where'd it go? Oh. Flew right past me. Let's put that there and see what these other snowmen will drop. Got one Reza pound. Two Reza pound. And that's it. That's really good, actually. I'm gonna need these right now. A leak. We got one right here on the floor. Wow, that did a... <laughs> that did a loop de loop Oh no, it despawned. Aw. Oh, I wanted that lid. Got three slots on my backpack. Grab that. Put that on the train. I'm also gonna take this engine right here. I'm gonna bring this back, because it's functional. That can be useful in other planets. Got leaks, Reza Pound. Okay, let's op open this Reza Pound one. Nice. Grab this. I'm gonna put these lives in a cluster over here. Gotta extend the rails. We're uh, we're taking care of these pods really good. Making a lot of progress. But where is? There's the cable slot. It's not gonna reach. I'm gonna need something else. Where did I leave the RTG? You're doing drinking contests with your classmates. What kind of drinking contests? What are the rules? That's not what I wanted. We're missing a leak. Let's see if I can get one from the snowman. Atta boy. Got a leak right here.
Mm-hmm. One more leak. Anybody? That's a Reza Pound. This opens up with Reza Pound. Let's get this one. Bobbles that we have 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's also bobbles that I left back in the base, right? So I think we almost have two silo fulls of bobbles. And that equates to 16 plus 16, 32. 12 right it's 12 plus 12 is 24 24 times 2 is 48 we might have close to 48 baubles now 48 and we need 27 burritos yeah we're gonna keep opening some more pods An ob nugget over there. Let's get that. I'm pretty sure I can get to it if I go this way. So we go forward and to the left. We should stumble on that ob nugget. Yeah, there it is. All right, so we'll get to it eventually. Let's uh, keep opening the pods that are next to the train tracks. Like, uh, for example, these. Oh, wow, there's so many pods here. Let's get these. We need power and we need... Reza Pound. Power, Reza Pound, more power, a couple of leaks maybe, yeah. I'm gonna want to use the extension cords this time. I put them right... Extension cords or the battery and RTG combo, let's take this. And leave behind the tethers. I don't think I need the dirt canister. Let's put that back to have some more space. What else do we need? Extra oxygen. I'll take an oxygen tank. I can also use the oxygenator. But then I might run out of power. So I'll take the extra oxygen tank. Or tethers. Hold up. Let's use tethers. Let's bring uh, this pack right here. All right. Here we go. Let's do our little battery RTG setup. Come on. Plug in. There you go. Might want to bring the silo with me. Since we're straying away from the train, pretty good. Let's put that there. Reza Pound. I think I got a couple on me. Yeah.
Wait, I don't want to put that on the train. <laughs> I'm using it. I just need some power on this. Battery RTG combo. Let's do it. Nice. I'm surprised I haven't re received any cosmic automatons out of any of these. Did they update it so it's like that? Because I could have sworn I had cosmic automatons out of these. Come here. Come here. There you go. this to the side and we're gonna keep opening stuff up make sure we bundle everything up so that we can pick it up with the silo so we got another power over here come on get in there these plugs can be so annoying sometimes Come on. Get in there. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's not good. Tethers. I forgot to put tethers down. Here you go. Pretty sure one of the ingredients flew away. We'll find it. There. Leak. We're gonna need a ton of resin pound uh, towards the end. And not for opening these research aids. It's for the burritos. Although I did collect a lot of resin pound last time. So maybe not. God damn, son. Two bobbles. That's good. And that. Oh shoot! We almost filled up the second silo. Bobbles, that's really good. Got any leaks around here? Give me a leak. Yeah, there you go. Snowmen are being generous this time. Cosmic. Sorry, Reza Pound. Guess who's back again? Damn, you're fast. Oh, 
Uh-huh. Oh, wow, we're full of automatons. We got a lot of leagues, Nox Thaumatons. I think we might be ready. We got 30 unknown biofuels. That will make 15 squash of things. Cosmic squashes. No, I think we need to find more. What is this? Nox of known biofuels 30 that'll make 15 uh squash of things we don't have enough we have to keep going yeah let's we have to keep opening up pods for sure <laughs> if we're gonna get to 27 of those uh burritos So it's the blue bottoms that give that give you those basic ingredients, right? Yes. And it seems like we get a lot more noxothane than oh no biofuels. Let's see what else we got around here. Leak. Perfect. Ooh, bubbles. We gotta put these somewhere we don't lose them. Right there. Yeah, look, we made it back around to the other track. What do we got here? Press a pound. Good. Take that. Holy crap, we've opened a lot of pods. This was filled with pods. So yeah, we're looking for unknown biofuels at the moment it's a good thing that one gave me unknown biofuel I get a resin pound I don't have one on me resin pound all right let's go ask one of these snowmen up here oh I was gonna ask the snowman but I need a uh, I need some oxygen Let's ask these right here. Res a pound? Yes. Res a pound? Excuse me, I can't see. So many objects in the way. Leak, that's also okay. Alright, let's take these. Ah, it flew away. I couldn't catch it in time. One straggler that I left behind. Let's pick it up. Nice. Gave us unknown biofuel, which is what we're looking for. Cosmic bubble, and there's one that I'm pretty sure flew away somewhere. Where did it? Where did it go? Well, as long as it's not an unknown biofuel, then we're fine. Trying to focus on unknown biofuels. Let's put these over here. I'm gonna bring the silo over. Oh, here's one. That might be it. Silo time. Wow, 
Wow. <laughs> Filled up pretty quick, huh? Anything under this? Nope. Just these. Let's put them over here. Alright, let's uh, make a quick scan. I don't want to miss anything. Nothing left on the floor. I can scan this. What does need the train tracks? I would detonate these exo caches, but uh, I don't have I don't have a lot of dynamite. So uh, yeah, let's just do work with what we got. Got a couple more here to open. Let's get the leak. Need a couple of resin pounds. Three. Let's hope these stolen are generous. I'm gonna call the drain over. Excuse me, Mr. Snowman. Do you have Reza Pound? Yes, you do. Thank you. That is very generous of you. Oh, shoot. What about you, Mr. Snowman number two? You got Reza Pound? Yes, you do. Thank you. Well, that's not... That's not Reza Pound. <laughs> This thing doesn't have res a pound, so let's kill it. That's a leak. You certainly don't have res a pound, so scram. Uh, pretty sure I got all the paws in this AO. Let's go back. Res a pound, res a pound. Let's go. Let's go ask some some other snowmen around here. Nope, that's a leak. But let's use it for this while I'm at it. Nice, two unknown biofuels. That's super good. Oh, this can open with power right here. Let's get that. Cameras can be real weird in this game sometimes. Got the uh, unknown biofuels. I think I should check my inventory again. Reza pound, Reza pound, yeah. That's uh, I think that's all I need. Another leak. Put that close so I don't lose it forever. Let's put this along the track. Now we can open these up before I leave. Before I go on searching for more pods. 
Come on. Open it. Open wide. That's... I don't actually need Cosmic Squash and Noxomatons anymore. But, I guess we'll make do. Let's see what this gives me. No, uh, no biofuels. I think we're gonna run out of fuel any second now. Oh, that's full. Oh. That's okay, we got more. There you go. So. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep carrying this silo wherever I go. Oh, this actually requires a leak. We're gonna get an Om Nugget out of this. This is really good. Hell yeah! Look at that pretty little Om Nugget. It's a leak. Mm-hmm. Might as well open this. Uh, leave this on the floor and keep going this way. Mm hmm. Looks like I've been here. Or maybe one of the one of the lids that I opened landed here. No, I think I I did open that earlier. We must stay focused, brothers. Let's go this way. I think we can finish off, finish off this corner. Alright, so if you guys don't mind... I'm gonna get up for a couple of minutes. Because I've been sitting for a couple hours. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself a coffee, but you guys uh, go ahead and stick around for a little bit while I come back. I'm gonna go make myself some coffee and uh, use the restroom.
All right, sorry about that. I am back. Hey, it's motor gone. What's up, dude? What type of what type did you brew? Well, it's espresso from my espresso machine. It's not a, an expensive espresso machine. Hmm. It does the job just fine. I can brew barista style coffees with my with my cheap little espresso machine. And uh, a couple days ago, we were out shopping. I uh, bought some fresh ground coffee. Not ground. It was a uh, whole bean. We bought some whole bean coffee because uh, we had run out. And we were fending ourselves with uh, ground coffee. Regular old ground coffee. Does the job, but gr uh, fresh ground, as in grind it yourself, is so much better. <laughs> And you know what I'm talking about. Oh, by the way, uh, the display case thing, I fixed it. Thanks to your tip. I started tinkering again with the display cases offline. And I got them to work. They all simultaneously go up and down. Including the lights. I'll show you later when, when I come back to the base. I think I'm almost done anyways with these uh, ingredients. We might actually reach 100 burritos today. Let me just account for what I have now. Oh my god, that coffee. Oh god, I'm going to take another sip. Excuse me. <laughs> hmm. Oh, you gotta drink it while it's still hot. Also, I drink it black. I don't add anything to the coffee. I just drink it straight up. Right out of the espresso machine. Have you sent off any burritos yet? I am stockpiling them. <laughs> I don't want to send them off one by one. I want them all to be... Uh, displayed before I send them off and we're almost done with them let's wait till we, till we come back you're gonna see that we got a hundred okay okay we have right now back in the base 73 burritos we're missing 27 so we're almost done and I've been collecting ingredients for about two hours I think we almost have everything we need. Hmm. Leak. Yeah, I do have a leak. We're going to need one extra leak in here.
That's not a leak. Every time, every time, I want something from the snowman and then give me the opposite. Give me a leak. I want just one puny leak. Oh my god. Wait a second, I left some leaks behind. Let me go get them. Put these red pounds right here. They ain't gonna give me leaks, I'm gonna go get them myself. I know I left some right here. Yeah, see, because I was looking for resin pounds over here. But the snowman started giving me leaks, and I was like, well, I'm just gonna leave these on the floor. I don't want them. I'll take one. One of these resin pounds. I'm probably gonna use it. I think it's time to bring the silo over here. Ah, 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 ah. Where do you think you're going? Come back. Ah. Oh my god, it's flipping out. Stay in the pile. I don't want no stragglers. There you go. Just uh, stand on top of this. Always remember, stand on the crate. Alright, let's go get that silo. After these pods that I just opened, I'm gonna go and check our ingredients supply. See if we have enough to make the 27 burritos we're missing. have what we need but we're gonna double check just to be sure let's count everything we're still missing uh, what is it cosmic squash cosmic no no sorry we're missing cosmic automatons for some reason the the research aids did not drop any so we gotta make them we have cosmic squashes we have plenty of that I thought I had more cosmic squashes, honestly. Where did they go? Cosmic squashes. Huh. Well. Unknown biofuel, noxo thing, we got 20. 21. That's it? I thought I had more. Noxo things, biofuel. Hmm, something's, something's off. Anyways, let's take this stuff back to base. Let's start making some burritos. And we'll see just how much we got left. Those robots sound like they're saying something when we pick them up, but I can never understand what it is they're saying in robot voice. You know, I haven't really paid attention. I know they make a, a robotic sound, but I never thought they would be trying to say something. It does make sense that they're trying to say something. Probably, uh, we gotta decipher it somehow. Base is back this way. Hey, I missed a couple of pods here. Damn, look at all this stuff we've cleared up everywhere. Oh, we're not that far away from the base either. 
There we go. All right, so. Whew, we're going to fill this canister up with leaks. Let's do that right now. Where are the leaks? Here. This one has less, so I'm going to open this one up. Alright, perfect. I don't need to take that off. And then... This needs... Resipound. I'm pretty sure we have a lot of that, so let's grab some from the... From the train. Although I should save them for the burrito. Let me check the burrito burrito count over here. 20. Let's make sure that's supplied with more resin pounds. We need at least 27. That looks good. I'm counting 27 because of... Uh, this one. So, 26 resin pounds plus 1 on the printer, that's 27. Put this one over here. So, we're gonna have 17 on the back over here. We can start filling these up with cosmic baubles. This one's filled up. I can just take this. I know we need a lot of cosmic automatons, so let's put this filled uh, silo right there. In the cosmic automaton machine. And we're gonna we're gonna let it operate actually. Let's do that. There you go. As for these, we need automatons. I'm pretty sure we got some automatons around here. We're stacked with automatons. Look at that. Mm hmm. Okay. This has a lot of baubles. Let's put this over here. You might be wrong, and it could just be robot gibberish. Let me try to hear it. sounded like automaton <laughs> yeah I can't decipher it for my for the life of me so I'm just gonna leave it alone <laughs> I don't speak robot, unfortunately. Okay. And this one. Oh, we got a couple more right here. Let's put that there. We almost had two silofuls of baubles on that run. Okay, so, you know what, I'm starting to think I should fill this up from the front to the back. That's probably a good idea. Cosmic Squash, that goes here. Unknown Biofuels, we're going to need some of that over here for the squash thing. What's this? Noxo thing, okay. And 
Let's put this knock slot pin right on this slot. I think we're going to be able to produce uh, everything that we need. Let's see, knock slot pin. Mm. See, we're really dependent right now on freaking uh, squash things, and that's a combination of noxothane and biofuel. And the the most we have is forty biofuels. Oh wait a second, what am I talking about, dude? Oh, oh my god, we can probably finish the burritos right now. All right, let's make sure that this little kitchen area and the last section is filled up with ingredients. The last thing that we need right here, we need, uh, what is it? The squash thing. Let's start producing it. We're going to need uh, an extra printer for that. I'm going to stop taking that small printer from the <laughs> normal printing stations. Let's make a new one. Such a shame, we can't speak robot. But it does make sense what you're saying, that maybe there is something, that maybe they're trying to utter some words. Just like uh, when you go to anything that has to do with the event, like the baubles, you read the description and it's a bunch of gibberish. Like this one. And what else is part of the event? If we go to the missions, multi core processing, is it this one? No. Anniversary, here it is. See, everything's encrypted. So you could be right about that. Maybe he's uttering some encrypted words or something. And that's very interesting. <laughs> Come on, where's the printer? Printer. I think I went the long way around to find the printer. Or maybe I passed it. Yeah, I must have passed it by now. Printer, 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 printer. I can't find the printer. Tethers, small printer. I passed it like three times. <laughs> All right. There you go. Let's select the squash of things on the small printer. Let's make it automatically print. Let's get some squash of things. If you haven't finished the game, last quest, this e event coincides with the theme of the game and why it's called the breakdown event. I don't want to spoil if you haven't done the last mission line. I have I have not finished the game. I haven't really even considered that there's an ending to the game. <laughs> so, maybe I should do that. Maybe after I'm done with the breakdown event, I should try finishing the game for once. I know it has something to do with activating all the planets and taking a piece of the core to the alien station floating around in space. Hmm. Ah, uh, took a last sip of my coffee. That's done. Let's bring in the Om Nuggets. Let's bring the Om Nuggets over. All right. Hold on a second. I don't want you to print yet. Well, you got one burrito. <laughs> Let's put it over on the display. Oh, by the way. Since you're here, let me show you what I did with the display. So I managed to do the thing with the button 
since you said you were tinkering and you found out a way to do it uh, I started tinkering myself and I figured out uh, after you said let me start it over I'll show you how I did it too those and after the train stuff they want to do there's a few quest lines after that it surprised me oh oh that's cool I'll definitely check that out it's good to know that this game is longer than it looks <laughs> so there's this uh, first section right here that green dot means let me close this in that green dot on the middle that means that's the power segment that's going to power whatever you place it on. But if you decide that you want to segment it, you press F. And the segment that this comes out of is no longer a power segment. So you see how it stays dim? I mean, you might have figured this out already, but in case anybody else doesn't know, I'll, I'll explain it anyways. So... If I attach it to anywhere else, that green dot on the segment turns green, like it lights up. So that's going to be the powered segment. And then you take another segment from the same segment pin and you branch it out. And every branch you make from that segment is going to be powered. That, that's how it... That's how I could explain it the best. And then you can make segments out of segments. So branches and segments are two different things. And that's what was confusing me, I think. So let me pick these up and reset everything the way I did. I added a little extra something. This is a... What is this? Button repeater. And on the back... I had mentioned how I wanted this to... Uh, light up to use the floodlights and also the the display case is flipping up so I decided to put a delay repeater on the back here you can see it's connected to every single uh, display case I keep calling it display case but it's the large active storage <laughs> so I branched the delay repeater to each display case and then I take this segment from the button repeater. I put it on this. And now whenever you activate the button repeater, there's a delay for the for the thing to drop down. And that's on purpose. You'll see why in a bit. Let me just put this how it was. I'm going to branch these out like this. Cable management is important, <laughs> as you can see. The clean looking cable, cable management in my eyes. Put that underneath. I want it to be underneath. There you go. Branch this one out on this light. And then we're going to make another branch this way. Segment. And then a branch. Put this branch right there. There you go. Alright. And now we're going to turn these lights off because they're supposed to be off while the displays are down. Alright. So now this button turns on the lights instantly while the repeater flips the the display cases up in like a what is it 25 clicks or something like that four clicks four in-game clicks that's like a quarter second so the lights turn on and then the display cases flip up yeah that's what i want <laughs> that's how i made the display case i think that's the finished display case so now we can see our progress in a cool fashion. Alright, so let's fill these up. We're missing 22 burritos now. 
Oh, no, not 22. It's uh, 20. We were at 27. We're missing 26 now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Put these canisters in the train again so I don't see a mess on the floor. Oh! I picked something up. As for the silos, let's put them on there too. Uh, these robots can go right here. Where, where is it that I need robots? This one. There you go. Oh wait, no, not that one. Where else do I need robots? Cosmic baubles. This one. Hold on. Hold on a second. Fill this canister up. All right. There you go. Nice, nice. What are we missing though? We got 39 squash things. Holy crap. 26 resin pounds. This is missing the Om Nuggets. Go ahead and put this leak right there. Pick it up off the floor. Now it's dirty. We're gonna get another dirty burrito. Put this on the train. Om Nuggets. Alright, let's make the Om Nuggets. What are we missing here? This is Cosmic Squash. They're right here. We got 23 of them. So we're we're gonna make a few more. Oh my god, I think I'm out of materials for that one. Noxophane? Oh, 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 oh. I think not. Squash of thing. Right? Yeah, yeah. Noxophane goes there. Hold up. Cosmic Squash. Oh no, I need unknown biofuels for that one. We might be just a little low on burritos for this mission. Because I kind of fucked up. <laughs> I needed those unknown biofuels. And I used them all. Noxomatons. We got 22 Noxomatons. So we can go ahead and make those. We're gonna make a few more. Okay, that's good. And we got cosmic automatons. We could use some more of these. So let's put the automatons on this this uh this part over here. There you go. We need to make sure we can make 27 Om Nuggets. Okay. Why did it stop? What am I missing? More baubles? Yeah. Twenty-nine. We got twenty-three cosmic squashes. We're missing three three or four cosmic squashes. So we can go open up some more pods. That's not going to take long. Yeah, that's it. That, I just need some more uh, cosmic squashes. I don't have the materials to make more though. I used all my Noxo things and unknown biofuels for the squash thing. Well, let's print what we have. Got a little straggler here. There you go. Oh, 
11, 12, we're missing quite a few more. So while this is printing, I can go ahead and go search for the unknown biofuels. As satisfying as it is, I want to keep watching that all day, but I got to go find those biofuels. Biofuels or cosmic squashes, either or. Oh, we got some materials right here. Let's open these up. These two. Uh, these, I forgot about these. We're just going to need to find some resin pounds. There's one. Thank you. Hey! Hey! Come back. So, I count at least... Let's, let's get five. A total of five... Uh, thingamajigs. You know what I mean. Oh, I have a Reza Pound on me. Durr. I don't need to find Reza Pound. Okay, Noxal Things. I don't see any more pods, so let's pick this stuff up. Oh, there's something behind this. Check it out. I'll take that. Eh, I don't need those. But I'll, I'll, I'll still put them over here. So we're searching for unknown biofuels and cosmic squashes, preferably cosmic squashes. Oh, 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 I remember this connects, this side over here connects with where I'm going. Let's deploy a couple of rail posts. I only have one though. God damn it. There you go. Here we go. We're going this way. Ah, oh, screw it. I think we're gonna have to go around. Unless I can take the last track from over here. Is it too far away? No, it's not that far away. I might have to go around anyways. But well, let's just pick this one up. And this one and what we're gonna do we're gonna try to use these rails to connect everything like so there you go make our made ourselves a little shortcut that's all the tracks I have let me pick another one up this one My, I, I'm gonna have to make a junction there in the future if I'm gonna keep collecting ingredients There you go Call the train over There you are. All right. Rizza pound. Now it's going to give me everything but cosmic squashes and biofuels. Lid, come back here. I need you. Stay right there.
Oh shit, I didn't grab it in time. What the? Come back here. Everything wants to fly off. There you go. But it's still no ingredients that I need. Wait, no, no, no. This should have dropped a cosmic squash. Yeah. Nice. Put that there. Robots. Cosmic Bobble. Do I have more heathers? Yes, I do. Oh, that's not my last tether. <laughs> I'll work with what I got then. Fuel, that's useful. Let's see if I can come back to base now. We got one unknown biofuel. That's two unknown biofuels. One cosmic squash. These I don't need this organic. Oh, I think we should have everything now. Mm, no. Let's open up a couple more. Noxlethane and the other one is gonna hold. Let me just put this on the other side. Right there. I can see them. Got one cosmic squash, five noxlethanes, and two unknown biofuels. Yeah, we do need a couple more canisters to give us either biofuels or noxl not noxlethane. Uh I always confuse the names. Biofuels or Cosmic Squash. Oh shoot, I think that's it. I think that's all we need. Let's go back. This is not the way back. Hold up. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to go this way. <laughs> I got my friends talking about playing Space Engineers. And my girlfriend, which is among the, the friend group that plays Space Engineers. She wants to make a cow ship. She wants to design a cow ship, like a Minecraft cow, <laughs> not just any cow. And that would be so funny. 
Here, so just imagine a giant floating cow shooting artillery from raining down artillery from the sky. That would look so funny. Unknown biofuels and one cosmic squash. Let's put that over here. Nice. Okay, we got. What is that? What is that that we're missing here? Om um, nuggets. Okay, let's put this back on the train. I think we don't need the Noxo thing yet. We need the biofuels. Where did I put the biofuels? Noxo thing. I will keep the Noxo things in one single canister. Let's put this over here and transfer them. Where are the unknown oh, biofuels? I took him off the train and I don't remember where I put him. Oh, I found him. That game has come a long way since 2014. I haven't played it, but it looks fun, says Modagon. It is very fun. But uh, I recommend that if you're gonna buy it, you should have friends that also play it. I, that game, I, I actually really do recommend that you have friends for it. Otherwise, uh, it might do you well to join a community that will teach you how to play the game. Because it's very complicated. It's, a, it's got a big learning curve. And uh, I might stream it soon. I'm, think I'm really thinking about streaming it and having space battles and stuff like that. Okay, so let's not mix this up. I need... Why does my phone keep turning off? <laughs> yeah, because if my phone turns off, I won't be able to see the chat. But I think I fixed it. It's because the video was paused. This goes here. For the cosmic squash. There you go. Oh, something's not right. Now we're missing resin pounds. Oh, it's, this thing's closed. But yeah, that game has, has come a long way. And they're currently planning an update, I think. There's a rumor going on that the update is actually Space Engineers 2, which would be cool, but I highly doubt it. I think it's going to be more of an update because they're working on water physics. I think I can put these away. And they're very realistic looking water physics. Like, you might be able to make ships that float on water. I just see a lot of potential in that update. So, we got cosmic squashes. What are we missing now? I think we got everything. Let me uh open up these machines one two and we got all the on nuggets we need nice all right let's print out a little batch to carry the burritos in i don't need to print it out i got the silo right here let's use the silo hopefully Let's see if this can print into the silo. Can you? No, it cannot. 
What about a medium storage? Let's go find an empty medium storage. We're gonna need a couple of these, actually. Start with eight. Let's get one more. Are any of these empty? No, they are not. Well, I guess I'll just make do with what I have. Let's uh, start the printing process. Enable all of this. And start the printer. We should have... 27-ish burritos. Definitely enough to meet the 100 burrito, burrito quota. Oh, I also remembered. I wanted to do the auto arm thing. So that I can load up burritos with the auto arm. Oh, I just remembered that. Okay. All right, all right. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's grab auto arms. That's the intake, the green one. And we're going to put a platform right here where the auto arm is. I'm going to print one out. Unless I have a regular platform right here. Mm, no, I do not. Oh, let's print one. Let's get some resin. I think it's just one resin for a platform. On a small printer. Right here. That's right, I gotta unpack it first. So if I turn this on, let's put a burrito right here. If I turn this on, it's gonna start picking burritos up. And I want them to land on this display case. Oh god, that's gonna disconnect them. That's fine. I'll reconnect it. I'm going to put it right here. And I want this auto arm to place every single burrito on that little platform right there. That's storage. Come on. Thank you. Oh, now I don't have to pick them up one by one. What are we missing here? Reza pounds. Let's get some reza pounds. I guess I can help it along. And there we go. Got one display case filled up. Let's get the next one. And there's also that one slot right there that I need to get. Let's not forget about that. I'm gonna help it along. <laughs> I 
Oh, are you kidding me? There's one burrito that's left so that we can fill up the entire case. And then one over here. So what are we missing to make one more Om Nugget? Because I'm pretty sure we're missing just one Om Nugget. Hmm. I guess we would have needed more biofuels and whatnot, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to hunt down a yellow pod. Let's put this stuff back into the train. Or maybe a couple. I need two yellow pods to give me Om Nuggets. I will carry a leak and an extra resi pound. And I'm going to take the oxygenator for once. Because I'm going to be without oxygen for a while. Without an oxygen tether. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah, that's a yellow pod, but that's going to give me a winch. I don't want a winch. You know what? I got an extra resin pound. I'm just going to open up. Look at the winch in disappointment and leave it on the floor. <laughs> All right, so let's search for yellow pods over here. Oh, another resin pound. We're never gonna run out of oxygen now. Wow, look at all these freaking snowmen. Here's an extra engine. I'm going to run out of hydrazine. I should have brought an extra canister. Oh no. You're not going to get me. We're going to find those yellow pods, guys. There's so many engines down here. There's another one. Is this where we left off? Oh my god, this is where we left off. I think I've almost cleared out the entire layer down here. Let's just make sure we find more Om Nuggets down here. There's a yellow snowman, but that just gives me another winch. Yeah, it is only the gold leak pods, but I think I picked them. I think I picked most of them up. I think I'm going in circles now. Might have to look for the other ingredients after all. I need squash thing. No, I have squash thing. I need unknown biofuel or cosmic squash. I think that's like the one thing that nobody's going to be able to explain is the, the winch coming out of... Oh, look, there's a biofuel. I'll take that. Coming out of these pods and snowmen. Like, what's the purpose? More snowmen. I might have to actually open up some pods. So, uh, let's give this one a try. Oh, nice. Cosmic Squash.
Do I have a leak? Yes, I do. Hmm, not what I need. Let's go search another one. I don't have extra leaks. Give me a leak. That's a resin pound. Resin pound. Leak. Hell yeah, let's go open up uh, this guy. This guy's gonna give me a cosmic squash, right? Nope. Uh, what about the... Uh... Take that. What about this guy? No, that's opened already. What about... Um... I'm out of fuel. Let's go this way. Gotta get these guys out of my way. Here we go, Reza Pound. Yay! All right, let's go make those burritos. That's all I need. Compass. This way's back. I'm not even gonna wait for the train. The train's gonna take a while. Might be faster on foot. Because we're not that far away. Take a left here. Here we are. Let's finish up those burritos. So we need the Om Nuggets. To make the Om Nuggets we need these Cosmic Squashes and Noxomatones. Yeah, we're gonna have what we need for sure. Just gonna grab a Noxo thing, put it right there. Oh, what the hell? There's one. Just one more burrito and we are done. Biofuel. That doesn't go here. That goes here, right? Yeah. Put that there. Cosmic squash. We had this one too. And noxomatons. Automaton. We got one right here. Let's put this on there. There you go. That's it. Let's open up these uh, outputs. And that's all we need. We got all the burritos we need. Hell yeah. Wait. Squash a thing. There you go. I'll take that. Put it in my backpack. Ah, there's just that one slot left. And bingo. That's the full collection of burritos. I should be able to finish the mission now. <laughs> now I want to display them this way. Hold up. We could see our progress from the side, but... Uh, 
Damn. Damn, that looks like a lot of burritos. Hold on, let me turn these off. Because I want them to light up this way. Oh, I forgot to plug this in. All right, let's go for a thousand burritos now. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> well, let's just finish this goddamn event. This took too long. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm really proud of this. Look at this burrito army, though. I might want to take a thumbnail picture. Let's see. What's the best angle here? Something like this, I think, would make a good thumbnail. Just gotta make sure to hide my Astro near. <laughs> 933,000. XP. Holy shit. That's almost a million, bro. I think that's that's a good angle right there. Let me take a screenshot. What's the button for screenshots? I think I got it. Take another one. And a little closer too. That looks like a burrito army if I ever seen one. <laughs> What about from this angle? It was, it was better from this other angle because the burritos are mostly facing this way. Alright. I'm gonna pick these up. It's time to use the auto arm for something else. How do I use these? Let's see. All right, so I want to pick them up. We are going to want a canister for that. What do we need for a large canister? We're sending these bad boys up into space today. Here it is. Glass, titanium, and nanocarbon alloy. I cannot make that right now. We're gonna have to make do with uh, these canisters. What do we got here? Four resin pounds. I could have just taken that empty one. We're going to need about uh, four-ish canisters, I think. So let's get another empty one. Put this over here. And now, we're going to have to grab one of these. And put it on the same platform. Hey! Get out of here. I don't want you. Nano alloy for a big and yeah, that's gonna take too long though. <laughs> I'm not going for it. Let's send these boogers into space.
Come on. There you go. It's funny because this would have probably taken a lot less time. But I wanted to make the base so pretty <laughs> that I took my sweet time to get all these burritos. I got no regrets though. This is a pretty sick display case. <laughs> Alright. I think this is ready to load up in the train. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna leave this down here. Let's take all this stuff with us. Okay, and the auto arm as well. Let's not leave it behind. I'm pretty sure I don't need anything else from down here. The QT RTG. That's over here. I might want to take that. I don't think I'm going to come back here. <laughs> I already activated this planet. Although I do think I'm missing some of the nodes on the surface. I might want to get those later on. What does it take to make fireworks? That's like a new item, right? Fireworks are made in the backpack. Explosive powder. Explosive powder is made in the chemistry lab. Let's check the Astropedia. It doesn't come up here. Explosive. Oh, there it is. Two carbons and one sulfur. And sulfur is a gas. I don't have a lot of that, but I can make some. I want to send some fireworks. To commemorate this day. That I... Oh, this is not the train. Wrong train, my bad. <laughs> commemorate the day that... That yummy guy sent... A hundred thousand burritos... Into space. Just gonna make sure I don't leave anything. There is one thing I want to take. I want to take this thing. I love these oxygen tanks. This is my oxygen supply. I take that everywhere. Resipound can stay here. I think that's it. I'll take this packager. I love packagers too. Oh, and the other thing, before I forget, I'm really gonna need this. Nice, all this scrap that I collected. This is almost full. This is what's been supplying my runs with Hydrazine. Speaking of which, let me take one from the... Let me take one from here. Boom. I'll leave that down here in case I ever have to come back. Alright, let's go get ready for launch. That melee's gonna get... They're gonna have a good feast.
Oh man, this is part. This is part nine. <laughs> part nine of the entire uh, event that I undertook. That's nine days. I've been nine days struggling to get a hundred burritos. Of course, I also did a lot of uh, what do you call it? I got sidetracked a lot of times for the sake of making everything look nice. So it would have probably taken half that time if I just went straight for the burritos. So let's say if you were able to spend six hours a day on Astroneer, considering I spent two hours a day, three hours a day ish, it might take you only two, two to three days without uh, focusing on making a nice base. Two to three days to get a hundred burritos by yourself. One day if you have a friend or two. All right, where's the launch station? Oh, I passed it. It's right here. Why isn't it stopping? I'll stop it myself. Let's uh, grab this thing. Let's put it on the platform. We're going to send 100 million burritos into space. 24. 28 They're evenly split. It's okay if they don't uh... I'm gonna have to make four launches anyways Let's go get those explosive powders Yeah, right I've been underground for so long <laughs> I only went up earlier today when I wanted to refuel The refueling station I filled it up real good So explosive powder requires, let's check the Astropedia one more time. It was a uh, sulfur and carbon, right? Yeah, I think I got a couple of them. It's gotta be sulfur here. Five sulfur, that's plenty. And let's grab some carbon. I have exactly seven carbons. Should be enough. This is also the first time I'm gonna make explosive powder. An achievement lab rat use the chemistry lab to synthesize each material that was the last one I hadn't synthesized explosive powder let me prep the backpack I'm gonna make some explosive uh, some fireworks I can also use the small printer Fireworks, here we go. want a button repeater we need sync for that we do have sync right
I think the repeaters are in the small printer. Let's go get one over here. I'll make it a delay repeater. Hopefully I can link this up to the fireworks. I don't know that yet. Oh, that's funny. I can probably ignite it right here if I press V. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that though. I don't want to waste a rocket. I want them all to launch right here. I can't... Yes, I can do that. I'm gonna do it from over here though. Little celebratory launch is not gonna hurt anybody. Put one here on the side. Another one on this side. And this one's gonna be in the back over here. Does it reach? Right there. I wonder if this can also launch the trade platform. All right, I think we're ready for launch. So if this was a quarter second, then this must be one second. Make it all the way over there. That must be three seconds, three to five seconds. Let's count five, I think. Five. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a five second countdown. We're about to launch our first burrito uh, canister. <laughs> Feed the aliens five. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Oh, I need a button repeater for that anyways. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm too excited. I'm too excited. Let's uh, print that uh, button repeater. We're going to need it anyways. Seems like we actually need it to activate the delay repeater. Alright, so we take this, plug it in right there. Now, in theory, we should be able to launch the rockets and the fireworks at the same time. And if not, well, we tried. <laughs> so, five, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, but we didn't launch the rocket. Let's launch it manually. Yeah! <laughs> there goes our first rocket. Damn, he's fast. I should have built another EXO request platform. Send, send all of them at once. Ooh! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, what does it take for another EXO request platform? I want to see them all launch at the same time. I mean, I have to launch them manually anyways, but... Exo request. Two resins, one compound. Medium printer, right? I'm going to need three request platforms. Oh, that's not it. Hold up. Did 
take this empty canister off the rocket put a new one in man it sucks that I couldn't launch it with a button I'm gonna try again just in case let's press the button and test this one while the other ones print And that doesn't launch it. Also, I'm going to take this off. I don't want to accidentally launch one of the burrito canisters up. What if I connect it directly to the platform? No. What if I use this instead of the rocket? It does not do anything. Oh, that sucks. I, that would have looked so cool if it launched with the fireworks at the same time. Hold on there. Hold on there, Jeffro. We're done. We only need two. Got a bit of a mess. Let's get these lights a little farther. Oh, that's too far. Oh no, how about we take this platform, back it up from the base. Right. This doesn't even need electricity. Let's, let's move it somewhere else. I want to have a clear shot, a clear view of the launch. That's gonna look cooler. One and two and three. That looks pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. We got the liminal leak color palette. We are missing the explosive personality, which we're about to get. Alright, let's start with the middle one. Launch in five, four, three, two, one. So long, burritos. I. Why did this one leave the burritos? <laughs> no! <laughs> Something always goes wrong. Well, we tried. It still looks cool. Let's wait for the rocket to come back. Oh, I just realized that this orange bar right here tells you the progress of the event. I hadn't seen that before. Oh, look, we got items. What is this? I've never seen this one. One out of five? That's new. I hadn't seen that chip. Why does it have a leak icon? Well, let's put it on the rover right here for now. Let's not lose it. It looks important. It's also got lower. It says, I want to fix the simulation as much as the next guy, but unpaid overtime ain't part of a healthy work-life balance. He's right about that. 
Maybe the suits can beam me up an apprentice. Interesting. Simulation. Beam up an apprentice. Maybe, uh... Maybe part of the lore of this game. Let's say we are in a simulation. Let's, uh, let's go over here and take this for an example. So these are some kind of logs. And whenever you activate them, it changes the global stability. Apparently of the whole universe. So everything starts fragmenting on the, on the, in the sky every time you activate it. And that looks so freaking sick. And then the last time that you activate it, it's gonna come back to normal, I think. Like that. So, I figured... Maybe... If we're in a simulation, and from that little chip that I just read... Maybe the aliens are training us they're trying to take the best astroneers for whatever project that they have in their hands and that's as simple as i can put it what's going on in my head right now motorgon says there's five boards that you can get if you finish the game you'll understand and that curious item will be part of the quest line later on bro for real i've been ignoring these i, I leave them behind whenever i find them <laughs> It's good that you tell me that. I'm gonna start collecting them now. Alright, let's send the final burrito out into space. Finish this uh, breakdown event. Woo! That's the last one! So long, suckers! I'm gonna clean this up while that thing's com coming back. I have any empty... Empty things. Let's grab this one. Hey, look, I got a spare burrito and stuff here. That was for the, the very beginning of this stream. The demonstration that I made. Alright, let's put this right there. Kaboom. Extra QRTGs. These are super useful. Dynamite, finally. Oh, I don't want to blow that up. Medium battery and another furnace. I'll put that right there. All right. Let's check the status of this thing. I am error care package. If you reach 1,314. So it looks like we finished the event, but you can still get care packages. Oh, that's really cool. Alright. Let's go check out those suits. You only need one of them, not to worry. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good. That's good to know, because I was going to pick every single one up. <laughs> uh, let's check the skins. It was a visor, a palette, and... Did we get a suit? Or was it just... Oh, right, it was a hat. We got bobblegum, and we got the... What, what, what was it called? The uh, leak? This one. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. That looks cool, though. Liminal... Oh, that's the one I unlocked. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's that's worth putting on. I like that. 
Liminal Leak. That looks freaking cool, man. I'm totally wearing that. And then we got the Explosive Personality. It looks funny. I like it, but I'm not going to put it on. <laughs> I like having my Astroneer looking, looking like this. I like this color, bro. Yeah, it, it, I'm probably just excited that I finished it and I have this color now. I might change it later on. It's a little too bright the more I look at it, but let's go with it. Uh, that's it. We finished the event. I want to see what happens though. If I get a care package, I think I'll just get extra items like these right here. Let's go ahead and send this burrito. I wonder what what event should I take on next? I've woken up every node on this planet, I'm pretty sure, because otherwise I would see a purple dot on the radar. There is that purple icon, but that's an awakened node. Yeah, there we go, supply package. Oh, there's another chip, so that's how you get the chips. Nice. All right. It's good to know. Let me check the events real quick. I, I want to know if I am going to do something else for the next stream. Otherwise, I can just stream another game. Looking through the looking glass, un activate the unidentified satellite. We would have to activate every single planet. We can do that. We can go to... I, I wanted to go to Vizania to activate that one. Because I went there and it's such a beautiful landscape. And it looks so intriguing. And also, there's plants that slap you and I hate them. Because <laughs> the little bit that I explored, they would jump scare the hell out of me. Because they're so, they're so uh, inconspicuous, they, you can't see them until you're close to them. Scan the Zolo Vintage Probe. The slap plants. <laughs> yeah, they scared the shit out of me. The first time. I've activated two cores. I think the second one is Aatrox. So I've activated Silva and Aatrox. Next one's gonna be Vizania. Also, you said I don't have to activate every node. Just one on the surface and then the middle one. Have you got the VTOL or hoverboard yet? I do not. VTOL, I think... This one's the hoverboard, right? Somewhere around here. Okay, there's the VTOL. Mission completion reward. If I'm not mistaken... Uh, I think the VTOL or the hoverboard. No, wait, sorry. The I know Glacial gives you a faster train. The VTOL might come out of a mission from... What is it? No, the hoverboard comes from a mission in the Zolo. And then the VTOL, I'm still not sure where you get it.
I guess I could set out to explore. You cannot live without the hoverboard. It is incredible. Maybe that should be my next stream. I already have an established base in Dezolo. I have enough fuel. Let's go visit it for a second. I know that you have to interact with Matt. You gotta bring him stuff. Vital is Vizania. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh god, that, that makes it really hard. That's a hard choice. Because I really want to go to Vizania and also really want the VTOL. But uh, maybe baby steps. We can start with the Zolo, which is really close. Here's my home. My home base right here. Alright. It's not much. But it can get us through. A little trade platform. I should probably bring scrap next time I come back. And then Matt. I should be found on the radar, right? No. Matt. Give me one second. Let's bring the ship over here. The hoverboard should be first. It's better and the items it needs are not so complicated. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the hoverboard first. I've seen a couple of people use it. It looks fun. Alright, let's let's look for Matt's missions. Track this one. Provide Matt, Matt with copper. Provide him with zinc. I can bring that. I can bring that next time. But I want to know if I can see him on the radar. Nope. Well, I guess that'll be a, a mission for the next stream. We're gonna explore the Zolo a little more. Probably activate it and also get the hoverboard. Maybe we can do that all in one stream. So. I guess I'll leave you all for the next stream. Maybe tomorrow I can get on. I'll let you guys know through... Uh, what's it called again? Discord. <laughs> Still getting the hang of that one. So yeah. Thank you for joining us, Motogong. And uh, the other guy, Lazy Boy. Dova was here for a couple seconds. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next stream. If you're new to this, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content so you can support this channel. Alright, see you in the next one.